Max feels left out because he is not part of the game or whatever the twins are doing. Why are you such a sourpuss today? Because that would not what the twins do. Why do you think that he does? Ah! They will let me play. Ah! Get Xbox, watch TV, not GameCube, but only Game Boy. And the more Max cries out for attention, the more Janine ignores him. He never gives me anything. I don't even get that stuff. Max, go sit in your room if you're going to cry all day. Since Max's own mother refuses to get to the heart of his problems, I'll have to do it myself. You know what? Zachary, I think as he's gotten older, has learned. He found other things he likes to do. He likes to build those models and things. Have you thought about doing stuff like that? No, they my brother, my parents won't have me. At this point, Max will start crying. <laughs> oh, honey. I'm sorry you're upset. Oh, Max. Come here. What are you really upset about? Are you really upset about the models or are you upset about something else? I want to really build something. <laughs> Oh, honey. Max wants to be 13. Max wants to be able to do the things that Zachary can do because Max wants to hang out with Zachary. She got on her knees and talked to him and said, I think you're feeling angry. And I was impressed because I thought it worked a lot better than what we usually do. I think Nanny was a little bit oversensitive for how I would have handled the issue. Now that I know why Max is so upset, I'm asking Janine to sit down with him and really listen to allow him the chance to communicate his feelings. We'll play or something and see if you have time just to kind of check in with him and talk about, you know, where he's coming from. And I didn't even realize how much of a problem it was until the nanny came. I wanted Janine to go and have a little talk with Max so they could work things out. And I know that you're really smart and Daddy and I know they want to try to do things that are for older kids. Never really talked to Max about how he's feeling. Zach is 13, he's a lot older than you. When he was six, he didn't do those things that you want to try to do. But we can try to do them. Okay. And we will try to do them. I know you need to try to do challenge challenging things okay yes. so you want to go and talk to Zachary about doing a model yes. and seeing if it's something that you can do yes. okay. I like talking to my mom today it's great to see mom and the kids begin to function as a healthy family should however when Steve returns home <laughs> All of our hard work is quickly forgotten. The kids are straight back on their video games because it makes life easier for Dad. Unfortunately, Mom just seems to go right along with it. I work anywhere from 30 to 40 some hours a week. Believe me, by the end of the day, you just want to put your feet up and have a little moment of peace. TV is our babysitter. I've given them the new rules, and yet the video games continue for hours on end. What will it take to get through to these people? Oh my! I got a sniper! Every time I turn around, they're letting the children play the video games. Lisa, I got a sniper too! Video games should not be a babysitter for your children. I don't agree that Nanny's one hour rule of video games is realistic. You can't just put a time on how long should your child be in front of an object. They could sit there for two hours and give me two hours of peace and I mean I can admit that that's wrong. I shouldn't let them do that for hours and hours a day. Yeah. Yeah. Are you supposed to be playing video games? Yeah. When they put those video games down, they immediately get into acts of aggression with each other. Both Steve and Janine aren't taking my advice seriously. And if this attitude carries on, they'll be putting their kids in danger. There, you're getting blood on the couch. Yeah. Come and get a band-aid, Trump. 
I don't get phased too much by the loudness or the fighting. If there's limits I'm going to tolerate. I really don't want to see my kid raise a bat to his brother. I don't want to see him push him down the stairs. started fighting about something that was really play fighting and then it turned into real fighting and Reese pushed Zach all the way down the stairs. Yeah, all right. Yeah. yeah. Reese pushed Zach down the stairs. <laughs> Zach got pushed down the stairs? What are you doing? Why did you do that? Don't push, all right? Both Steve and Janine have been very relaxed during this process. They were letting things go too much. Steve and Janine aren't taking my advice seriously. And if this attitude carries on, they'll be putting their kids in danger. And the very next 